All right, I have some antennas to test, and um, let me show you the test setup. And um, unfortunately, I don't have an instrument that will measure them directly. So what I'm going to do is this. Um, here's my antenna I want to test. So I'm going to use my little sweeper here. I'm going to set it up for 2.2 to 2.7 gigahertz. I believe these antennas are around 2.4, 2.5 gigahertz. So I'm going to sweep from 2.2 to 2.7 go through the coupler into the antenna, then if anything is reflected back, it'll come out the uh, port here. And I'll put that into a spectrum analyzer. Unfortunately, my spectrum analyzer doesn't go this high in frequencies. So I'm going to take whatever comes back, I'm going to mix it with one gigahertz and down convert it. And that will go into the, uh, that will go into the uh, spectrum analyzer. So, so here we are. Here's my sweeper. And here's my coupler. And here's my, uh, one gigahertz coming in and my down sampling and then it will go over to the uh, go over to the spectrum analyzer and uh, we will get a dip uh, where the uh, frequency of this antenna uh, stops reflecting um, it'll be the lowest when antenna works correctly the energy should go out it shouldn't come back <laughs> And so the very least amount of energy should come back where the antenna is resonant. All right, so uh, this is the first antenna we'll take a look at. This is a flat antenna, all right? And uh, I'll put in a picture here of the result. And it's around 2.4 gigahertz, something like that. A little bit lower, but right around 2.4 gigahertz. All right, so that's antenna number one. All right, and then let me show you antenna number two. Antenna number two is right here. It's this pole that's sticking out of my vise there. Um, it is a, uh, let me take it out of the vise. Now that I'm done testing it, let's come back down here. It is a Macom ANCC-156A-S.12.NN. Anyway, uh, it's about a 2.5 gigahertz uh, antenna. And uh, here I'll insert, I'll insert the picture here of this antenna. All right, so those are the measurements, but that's not the fun part of the video. The fun part of the video is the teardown, okay? So let me turn things off so it's a little quieter in here. All right, so antenna number one is this flat thing. And uh, it has this uh, metal plate on the back. Um, make on part number 3396-8010-0013, anyway. Uh, pulled the plate off and I found uh, I guess it's like a PC board underneath, all copper, and the shield of the uh, the braid all uh, gets soldered to this side, and it took a long time to get this thing out. But if you pop this thing out, look at the other side, you see the antenna thing. Um, it's very, very interesting. Uh, it's got a big pad here, a big pad here, and a, a line in between. It's all basically like a PC board design. It's all copper and then the center conductor attaches attaches to this thing so and it attaches to a very interesting spot it attaches to here um and so i guess this is kind of like an end loaded dipole type of thing uh and, a, and then if you take a look at here it's very very thick uh, let me get a ruler out here it's very very thick so from conductor to conductor it's five millimeters maybe six millimeters. Yeah, almost six millimeters um, of this, all this stack up of PC board type material. And this is a, has a lot of dielectric uh, uh, properties as well. So it's going to, electrically, it's going to be thicker than that. It's going to be like a 10 millimeter thick uh, spacing between the, uh, this uh, uh, copper backplane and the top. So I don't know what these antennas are called. Maybe somebody can point me to some literature that talks about these antennas. I've never seen one before. Uh, they look very interesting. Um, obviously, everything reflects up, so everything is in one hemisphere. And uh, yeah, it's probably pretty broad. Uh, I don't probably doesn't have many lobes or anything like that. So anyway, so that's antenna number one. I thought that was super interesting using PC board technology. Um, very interesting. Uh, oh, and before I get away from this, uh, this antenna had a, um, a TNC, which is a threaded BNC, and I didn't have a, a female threaded BNC. 
So what I took was a regular BNC and I, and I ground the little nubs off, right? The little bayonet nubs. I ground those off and uh, now it just slips in there, okay? And if you know how, geez, that's tight. If you have BNCs, um, this one has a whole bunch of fingers that go in and they make contact of the inner portion here. You don't need, you don't need the bayonet lock. That's just kind of a mechanical lock as long as it's seated in there. The electrical is all of that metal that gets pushed inside of this thing. It's it, it, like most of the thing is over here, right? And I painted a little red stripe on it so I remember what this one is. Um, now, the interesting thing is I did that because I had this TNC that I needed to test, but if you've looked at an, an end connector, you say, hell, that kind of looks like a BNC. Well, yeah, it is. <laughs> um, so again, uh, you could use this to test the, the end connector. It, all, it also fits in here the same way. Um, so anyway, I could just do the setup with one. I could do it with one setup. All right. So the next antenna is this Macom thing. And it's quite long. Uh, let's see here, let me get a tape measure. All right, it is uh, 400 millimeters. 400 millimeters by 20 millimeters. So, so pretty long. And I, uh, it's all kind of in, in the, into this piece of plastic here. But I, I uh, broke, the, broke the joint here where it was uh, glued in so now I can pull this out. And the first thing we see is this pretty cool is some uh, uh, common mode chokes, okay? So there's some ferrite around the, uh, the little uh, coax here. It's like RG58 type stuff. Does it say what it is? I didn't really look. Uh, I don't see an RG number. Oh, wait a minute, here we go. Yeah, RG58. So it is RG58, so it's 50 ohms. And uh, it's got these little uh, ferrets in front. And then is the antenna. And the antenna is a PC board. <laughs> so another, P another PC board. So they come like PC boards. Now this one's quite flexible. Looks like it's silver. Uh, it doesn't look, it's probably silver probably to copper, I would guess. Uh, looks pretty nice. And it's very, very interesting. Um, the center conductor comes along this side and it's just a straight shot, except for this weird little capacitive loading thing here. Um, and then the other side, which connects to the shield, has this, and then these are floating. So these are like floating, floating elements, okay? And so what it's doing is it's loading I don't know how it's working. <laughs> I've never seen this before. Now, I, I, now that I think about it, I'm not quite sure. There's also a loading hat at the very, very end. It, it's hard to see here because there's a little piece of foam glued on here, but there's actually a, the, the, this, this little thin trace fattens up right at the end too. So there's a hat at the end. Um, and uh, yeah, so what this thing ends up being is like these little half wave sections, right? So a little half wave, half wave, half wave, and half wave. So you end up with basically uh, a four element coaxial antenna. So you can have things like Yaggies, which are uh, spaced like this, but you can also space things vertically um, and you get gain that way. You can get a, a, a narrower lobe and get gain in, a, in an omnidirectional antenna. You flatten out the lobe. Um, so yeah, this is really cool. I uh, hadn't seen one of these. Seems like it'd be very easy to manufacture. And then you just put it in a plastic tube and away you go. So this can't be, can't be all that expensive. <laughs> they probably charge lots of money for its make on. Um, but yeah, looks pretty cool. Anyway, thought it was interesting.